Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Tuesday, March 15th. <laughs> and uh, this is episode number 167. So I do have some finished objects to share with you guys today. One of them is a photo because I already gave it to my sister. But uh, you would have seen it in other videos if you watched other videos. <laughs> but I'll insert a, p a photo of it anyways. But yeah, so uh, June is behind you asleep. I got laundry going. Devin and Jesse are outside playing, so I'm going to record this real quick. <laughs> Try to get it done so I can get these finished objects where they need to go and can start on more stuff. <laughs> but yeah, so I got uh, five finished objects. I'll go ahead and talk about the, um, the one that I don't have uh, first. I'll insert a photo of it. But uh, the pattern is called Yellow Cake uh, with Chocolate Frosting, and it is a tissue box cover for the square tissue boxes. And it is a free pattern by... There's something sticky on my paper. Um, Tissueboxbakery.com. I did just alter the colors, obviously, <laughs> as you can tell. And um, there's no sprinkles on top because my sister is going to put sprinkles on it at her house. She may have already done that. I need to get her to send me a picture of that. <laughs> I'll have to message her and see if she's done that. But, um, yeah, so I followed the pattern. I did use a H hook, which is a 5 millimeter, And I used Red Heart Super Saver scraps. I think all of it was Red Heart Super Saver. It was white, um, let's see here, it starts with, I'm trying to remember what color it starts with, it starts with red I think, so it's cherry red, orange was pumpkin, yellow was bright yellow, green was spring green, blue, and the purple was light orchid I believe, I think that's all the colors, <laughs> but um, yeah, so I made that for her and I showed it in a few videos. I think it was on a watch and work on Wednesday and um, and then I showed it on a video last week, I think. Um, because I know I wouldn't have it, but I'm gonna go ahead and count it anyways because it is a finished object. So that was the first one. So the next one was this little Ukrainian flag. I, I showed this before too, but this is the next episode since then. But it's called the uh, hashtag we support Ukraine flag pin by Orchid and Bees. This was the first one I seen right after the war started over there and uh, so I made this one. I just used scrap yarns, it's Red Heart Super Saver Blue and Bright Yellow and Cherry Red. And then I just have a safety pin on the back because I don't have like an actual pin thing. <laughs> but uh, I used an E hook for the flag and an F hook, nope, reverse that. F hook for the flag and a E hook for the heart. F is a 3.75 and a E is a 3.5 millimeter. And yeah, these are just worst away scraps. This is a free pattern as well. I'll link it below if you're interested. I know there's a bunch of these going around now. There's all kinds of uh, Ukrainian flag things now. All right, moving on. <laughs> Next is a bag that I made with some yarn that I actually still have some back here on the couch. I'm waiting to use it up. <laughs> I left it there so I could use it. But it is made with Premier Just Yarn that I got at the Dollar Tree a while ago. <laughs> and um, I just I have some on my shelf in here and I want to clear out the shelf a little bit. And so I just looked for patterns and I found this one. It's called the Huntley Gift Bag by Yarn and Chai. <laughs> I got my notes by. Uh, yeah, I showed this on a watch working on Wednesday. So here it is finished. It's got some texture down here. And it's just solid. I held um, two strands of that Premier yarn. It's a yellow color and a pink color. I think it's called uh, like Dusty Rose or something like that. And yellow, I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> Wait, did I write it down? I did light pink and soft gold. I was right off. <laughs> light pink and soft gold. I held it double and I used a five millimeter hook, which is an H hook. And I like it. It came out really cute. It's a nice size bag to put a project in, which is what I'm going to use it for as a project bag. I have a few crocheted project bags that I use. Um, I have a, one that's kind of similar to this. It's yellow, but it's red heart yellow, I think. And then I have uh, one from my Snappy Tots that I use a lot. I like this texture down here. The pattern has uh, like different colors that you use to give it like stripes, but I just wanted to use up this yarn. So I uh, I think it looks good held together though. I think it's pretty. I still have this yarn, like I said, behind this blanket that I want to use up and um, there's just a whole bunch of there that I need to pull out and use up. But this is a free pattern and I like it a lot. Um, so it'll be linked below if you want to check it out. But it's really easy. I made it in I believe one day. You start down here make a chain and then you work around the chain to make the bag and it's a fuzz <laughs> and then uh you make the handles and go on it's just a really cute and quick project 
I liked it a lot. All right, next, uh, this was one of my teacher library product projects out of this book right here. It's called Hooked on Amigurumi by Melanie Morita. And I have had this book for a little while and I wanted to make some things out of here. I actually have a few things marked, but I really wanted to make this one because I love salt, <laughs> salty things, and I love Asian food. So I made the little soy sauce. He's so cute. Or she, whatever it is. <laughs> I think it's a he. This is all uh, red heart scraps as well. Cherry red, white, and black. And I used little safety eyes and I just stitched on the little mouth. But I think he's adorable. He's right here on the cover. <laughs> but uh, there's a lot of stuff in here that I wanna make. I saw, let's see here, the Alaska Crafty Gal, but she's not in Alaska anymore. <laughs> I don't know if she's gonna change her name. But um, she's working through this book and doing every single pattern in this book. So that's pretty cool. But uh, I'll link this book below if you want to check it out on Amazon. And I think I found it on Thrift Books the other day, but I don't know. It only had one copy, so I don't know if someone bought that. But uh, And if I could remember, I'll link uh, the Alaska Crafty Girl's channel. Because she just showed something the other day that she's working on. I think she uh, is working on the octopus right now. She just made the jellyfish, and now she's working on the octopus. So I made that one. And then another amigurumi. This pattern was gifted to me by Michelle Estrada. She is Pixie Marie Crates. And this is one of her newest patterns that's out right now. It's called the Bronchosaurus. And uh, I used a J hook, which is a six millimeter. Hers calls for a larger hook, I believe. But I, uh, my tension is tighter than hers. So I went down a hook size. Um, and I used number five yarn. It's Premier Serenity Chunky. The colorway is called Bright Water. He's so cute. And I finally got to use some of my cool safety eyes that I was gifted off of my Amazon wish list. It's, they got like, um, they look like, like animal eyes and you can't see it good because the ring light's blowing it out, but it's different colors in there. It's like green and yellow and I have a whole bunch of really cool glittery ones and stuff that I can't wait to use, but I thought this looked cool on him. So there he is. He's so cute. This didn't take much yarn at all. Um, I had that big old ball and it used like half of it. She's grumping. I'm gonna have to grab her. All right, I had to take her to daddy. <laughs> she was a little grumpy, so he's outside and she likes being outside. So she's, I think she's doing good now. <laughs> Anyways, Brachiosaurus is what I was talking about. So I'll link these eyes down below if you're interested in checking them out. They're really cool. Uh, they are larger. I'm not sure what size these are. But that's why I haven't used them. It's because um, I think they're 20 millimeter. I think that's what the bag says. <laughs> I can't remember. But uh, I haven't made a lot of big amigurumis lately. I've been making little ones. So I finally got to use them. I'm super excited about that. I love this colorway. It's so pretty. The way it worked up, it's striped, it's just so cute. I didn't sell this on the greatest, but that's okay. <laughs> I think he's adorable, and Jesse already claimed him. He's supposed to be a, a brontosaurus, but he kind of looks like some kind of water creature to me, like a Loch Ness monster. <laughs> I think I might have put the legs up a little too high. I probably should have put him a little bit lower. But he's adorable, and Jesse loves him, so that's all that matters. So Jesse got a new toy, and now I have half a skein of that that I need to use to make some other amigurumi with, and I also have another whole ball of it. <laughs> Plus I have another ball of the same kind of yarn, but it's black and gray and white. She's crying, you can hear her. I thought he had her, but now she's crying. Yeah, hurry up. <laughs> but um, my last fish object was a national holiday make, and it was Mario for March 10th, which is Mario Day. So it is called, it's actually called the Mini Red Gamer Friend because it's copywritten. But it is a free pattern by Mary Smith. She used to design a lot of really awesome patterns. She hasn't really done anything in a few years. She's been sewing, mostly. But I got a ton of her patterns. <laughs> but uh, here he is. He's so cute. I actually got the stuff pulled out to make Luigi. I just haven't started him yet. But all his yarn is laying over there. I used an E-hook, which is a 3.5 millimeter hook. And I used all Red Heart yarn, except his skin is. I love this yarn, Light Peach. Okay. <laughs> Let's try this again. They had to come inside because she's still crying. He took her into the bedroom. And Jesse came over here and he tripped over my ring lights, my tripod ring light thingy. It's cord. <laughs> and unplugged it. And so anyways, I got you set back up. It might be crooked. And they're in there. And I got to finish this up. <laughs> That's just life now, I guess. But uh, I was talking about Mario. I already said. I was talking about the yarn. Okay. <laughs> so this is all of his yarn. Uh, light peach. His hair and, yeah, just his hair is red heart coffee this is red heart uh cherry red and white black blue and his feet are also the brown 
I think it's everything. <laughs> he does have little safety eyes on him, and he's just so cute. He has a lot of pieces. He has, because his two sideburns, his nose, his mustache, his ears, the back of his hair, his hat, this thing on his hat, and his little suspenders are all separate pieces. Um, and his arms, they were separate too. But you could have crocheted them on if you wanted to. I just went ahead and followed the pattern. But it was really easy. She's crying here. I gotta go get her. But um, I'm gonna work on Luigi. And there's also a Yoshi that matches. I wish there was a Princess Peach that was her pattern. But I might be able to alter it maybe uh, to make them the right size. I found some Princess Peaches by other people. But I wanted them to be similar to the Mario and Luigi. But I might just have to make a different one. I don't know. But it's super cute. I'll link it below. And it and the Yoshi and the Luigi are all free patterns by Mary Smith. Now I only have one whip and it is my shrug. What is it called? It's a few pages back. The Stonewall Shrug and it is a free pattern by Make and Do Crew. I'm using a, I think a J hook? No, an I hook, which is a 5.5 millimeter. And I'm using Red Heart Super Saver Stripes Zebra uh, for the body of it. And then I'll be using Glow Worm for the uh, borders, edges, whatever. I have worked on it some since y'all seen it, but I haven't worked on it a lot. And I'm, I'm trying to focus on working on this because I want to get it done. <laughs> and, uh, but I've been making a lot of amigurumis lately. So last time you guys seen it, it was right here where my little pizza slice is. So I had all this done up to here and then I did this much. So I did 10, 11, 12, like 13 rows. It, each one of these stitch markers marks 10 rows. Well, not that one. These colorful ones so that I can count them easily. I got to make 72 rows. So right now I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 52 rows. So I need 20 more rows and then the body will be done. I'll have to um, seam the two corners, which is complicated to explain. <laughs> and then add a little bit of sleeve. It's got a little bit of sleeve on it. And then the sleeves have cuffs. And then the whole part that goes around your body has like a cuff. What is it called when it's on the body? <laughs> a button band, but there's no buttons. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> but yeah, so it's... It's coming along. It's still zigzagging. It still looks cool. And this is the second ball, I believe. Third ball. This is the third ball. And I have, I think, six all together. So I got plenty of yarn to make it with. I just need to sit down and do it because I want to get this done so that I can work on. I want to make that Luigi. And uh, I, there's a little troll pattern that I found that I want to make. And there's a couple of national holidays coming up in April that I want to make things for. So I need to get this done. And, um,. Yeah, so I'm slowly trugging along on it. It's just taking a while. <laughs> but I, that's on my only whip, which is pretty good, I think. I don't think I have another one. But, uh, yeah, she's still crying. I gotta go get her. <laughs> I'm better at calming her down than he is. My phone's dying. Everything's going on. It's going crazy. <laughs> but uh, I still haven't made my roundup video for February. I need to do that because it's already, like, the middle of March. Um, showing my ball bands. I think there's only three for February. <laughs> And uh, my finished objects and doing updating the tally. Um, I'll do that eventually. Maybe this weekend because Devin's going to take some vacation time. So he's off a little bit when Jess is off for spring break. Which he's off next week. So we'll do that. We're going to do some deep cleaning this week of Jesse's room's big time. Needs to be deep cleaned. Um, I'm going to pay him. I tell him I'm going to give him 50 cents for every toy that he donates. And it has to be like an actual toy, not like a Lego. Or something little like that. Um, so he's excited about doing that and getting money to probably put on Minecraft to buy like skins and stuff. But anyways, she's done fit. Um, yeah, I guess I'm gonna hop off here and go get her because she's crying. I painted my nails today. They're yellow and they got glitter on them. Devin bought me, just randomly, he came home today with some flowers and glitter nail polish <laughs> for me and, uh, and some candy, but I already ate that. So uh, I put yellow on and then I put the glitter on over it and it looks really pretty. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna get off here and go get the baby calmed down and then I'll edit this get it up So it's already almost six. So it may be later tonight before you guys even see this, but it's coming and um, Hopefully tomorrow's watch your work on Wednesday video will be a little less hectic, but all kinds of stuff is just going on So I gotta go and I'll see you guys uh, hopefully tomorrow. <laughs> Bye guys